Happy Saturday, March 30th, everyone. Hunter here again at Weather on the Go. And in today's weather forecast, we're going to be looking at your Easter weekend and what you can expect for temperatures and precipitation and any snowfall that could happen this weekend as well. We'll also be looking at the big highlight in today's weather forecast. Confidence continues to increase in a significant severe weather outbreak early next week, Monday and Tuesday, April 1st and 2nd. We'll go over those details as as well as your long range outlook looking at your solar eclipse forecast as we get closer to Monday, April 8th. So thank you guys so much for watching here this morning. If you are here and you are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for detailed but accurate weather forecasts. We'll keep you covered throughout the year. Also be sure to press the like button, the thumbs up button down below. It helps out more than you know. So let's look here at your 500 millibar height anomaly. Let's zoom out the picture here across North America and show you what we have synoptically going on. We have a ridge of high pressure here across the deep south and the southeast bringing us dry weather but more importantly those spring-like temperatures that we're all wanting as we go through today a big trough moving into the pacific southwest especially into california this is the start of what is going to be an active next few days especially early next week this is our storm system we're keeping an eye on so let's look at our precipitation here on your saturday march 30th a little system up here across the great lakes in ohio valley region that could be bringing us some rain or a rain snow mix our main parent trough is off here into the pacific southwest some heavier snows for the sierras also some of the rockies as well and some heavier rain for los angeles san diego and santa barbara as we go through today easter sunday we got a couple low pressure systems here that are moving across the country a little snowstorm up here for portions of the rockies into the dakotas keeping an eye on that the warm sector though for the midwest through the ohio Valley on Sunday, we could be talking about some isolated, stronger thunderstorms, especially from Kansas City, Omaha, eastward here through Indianapolis and Springfield, over to Cincinnati and Charleston, Louisville, those areas on Sunday. And we are keeping an eye on a tornado threat. It's a small tornado threat, but it is there across portions of northeast Missouri, downstate Illinois, into Springfield there, and into Indianapolis and south central Indiana as we go into Easter Sunday. Let's look at our total precipitation going through April 1st, and you can see the heaviest rains will be out west, especially Especially near Los Angeles there into San Diego we could be talking one to three inches of rain and then stretching from the Midwest and through the Ohio River Valley a good quarter to three quarters of an inch of rain from Illinois back through Indiana Ohio and into portions of West Virginia through your Monday time frame any snowfall out there the prospects for that will be mainly across the Sierras into the Rockies so if you live out west into those areas we'll be seeing some snow with the cold air aloft with that trough as it moves in early on here through the weekend let's look at our temperatures through Easter weekend spring like temperatures across the south and southeast colder to the north still have that deep snowpack across the upper Midwest with our recent snowstorm keeping us a bit cooler and you can see as we go to Easter Sunday a lot of that warmth really building 80s perhaps 90s down here into western and southern Texas as we go into that time frame so definitely watching that looking at your temperature anomalies from March 1st through the 30th March is going to go out like a warm one here across the east a lot of these areas in the eastern third of the country are actually trending above normal with our March temperature anomalies so it's going to go down as one of the warmer March Arches here across these areas and we're keeping an eye on a major storm system moving in early next week here's your 500 millibar vorticity map you can see the lift starting to build in across Arizona, New Mexico, and West Texas early next week. And that will shift across the eastern part of the country during the middle of next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday time frame. And we are concerned about a significant severe weather event that is likely to unfold on Monday and Tuesday. So starting here on Monday, there is an enhanced risk of severe weather from Missouri, the Ozarks region, down into southeast Kansas, eastern Oklahoma, and northwest. Arkansas, a large slight risk stretching from Dallas, Fort Worth, all the way around here toward Indianapolis and Springfield, Illinois, as we go into Monday, April 1st. 
And then that area of concern shifts east on Tuesday, April 2nd to include more of the mid-Atlantic down into the southeast and the Tennessee Valley here. So definitely keeping an eye on that for Tuesday. Looking at this, understanding what these categories mean, if you have a slight risk of severe weather, isolated to scattered severe storms can be expected. But on Monday, we have an enhanced risk. That's a level three out of five on the scale. That means high confidence that several storms will contain damaging winds, severe hail and or tornadoes. And some of those could be significantly severe. So we'll continue to watch that as we get closer. Let's look at Monday setup though. So looking at this, a lot of instability building across the middle of the country. Dew points all the way up into Missouri there, downstate Illinois and southeast Kansas will be into the mid 60s and that will be a deep instability reservoir that we'll be able to tap into on Monday over 1000 joules per kilogram. You don't need a lot of instability this time of year, especially when you have a really strong mid-level jet streak punching across the country here over about 60, 70 knots and then you see a low level jet starting to crank up. So rotating supercells will be a problem as we go into Monday. So let's talk about the timing here. This is your lightning flash density. And what this is simply shows is where thunderstorms will be likely. And you can see the Illinois Valley down towards the St. Louis region, perhaps Monday morning, some hailers out there, definitely a possibility, but it's really Monday afternoon into Monday evening. Monday afternoon, we're gonna light up that cold front like a Christmas tree. And we're gonna see a lot of severe weather, embedded supercells, tornadoes, damaging winds, very large hail here as we go into Monday afternoon. An MCS, a mesoscale convective system, will then develop and propagate east-southeastward across the Missouri Ozarks region into Arkansas and downstate Illinois, producing widespread potential for damaging winds, hail, and embedded tornadoes. And looking at this, this is a depiction of what the radar could look like. You can see how it curves out like this. Damaging winds, definitely gonna be a problem, but also you can get these kinks in the line on the leading edge that could be called QLCS tornadoes those quick spin up tornadoes that develop on the leading edge of lines of storms. We'll watch that even Monday evening, even after dark. And then going into Tuesday setup, all the instability all the moisture shifts further east. So we have 50, 60 degree dew points all the way up here into Ohio, West Virginia, up toward Pittsburgh, 57 degree dew point there on Tuesday. A lot of instability again, 500 joules per kilogram to 1,000 joules per kilogram. Again, you don't need a lot of instability this time of year, especially when you have a strong jet stream. There we go on Tuesday, lighting it up. Scattered severe weather from the deep south all the way through the mid-Atlantic, the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley there. And then as we go into Tuesday night, the storms will start to decrease in coverage and intensity as that cold front starts to move east and as we stabilize the atmosphere later Tuesday night. Looking at Wednesday's setup, this is going to turn more into a snowstorm. So starting off as a severe weather outbreak, ending as a snowstorm for the northeast, especially interior New England there, definitely seeing some heavier snow moving in across Michigan into portions there of southeastern Canada, but also Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, getting into upstate New York, seeing that cold air advection moving down from Canada and turning this precip over to snow as we go even into Thursday. Heavy snows, tight iso bars here across Maine. It could be some wind-driven snow across that region as we go into Thursday and continuing even into Friday. So it's safe to say this storm is going to be with us for quite a long time and it's going to pile up some precipitation. Here's all the precipitation this storm will be bringing and you can see the heaviest hit areas with rain across the Ohio River Valley into the Mid-Atlantic and parts of New England here. Widespread areas here could be seeing over four inches of rain, even six inches over here into places like central Indiana, maybe northern West Virginia, southwestern Pennsylvania, around six inches of rain there watching out for a flash flooding risk. And then as we go into the late week time frame, as this turns into a snowstorm Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for interior New England, we could be talking a couple of inches to several inches of snow across these areas and definitely seeing the potential for over a foot of snow. Again, yes, Maine has gotten hit very hard this year with snow to end the year, and it likely we'll see another round of some heavy snow with a foot or so coming as we go to later on next week. Let's look here at our synoptic for early on the following week for your solar eclipse forecast. This is not a good look though. We've been keeping an eye on this for the past few days. It's been very consistent 
And this is not a good look if you like to see clear skies in the middle of the country for the path of totality. You have another trough moving into California that is going to eventually eject across the plain states, bringing possibly more severe weather. But also look at the probability here of over a tenth of an inch of precipitation on the 8th. This is Monday, April 8th, and it's really centered across the Mississippi Valley here. So from Texas up into Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, even Indiana, we'll probably see a lot of cloud cover from this. You'll have to move into the mid-Atlantic or the northeast of New England to see more clear skies up towards like Maine, New York State, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, some of those areas near the path of totality for that to see clearer skies for the eclipse. And looking at the general long range outlook going through Friday, April 12th, warmer, much warmer to the east and cooler to the west here. This means more troughs coming in and we're likely going to see very volatile weather going into the second week in April, which means more heavy rain and more severe weather outbreaks potentially through that time frame. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Consider subscribing to the channel down below for detailed, accurate weather forecasts. We'll keep you covered on the severe weather, the snowfall, the solar eclipse forecast, everything here and also throughout the year. Make sure to press the like button down below. It helps out more than you know, and I hope everyone has a fantastic Easter weekend out there.